Hey everyone, this is Ledbetter17P. Today we have another mod review for you guys. Uh, basically, I just got this mod in uh, a couple days ago, and uh, we're going to take a look at it. So we're going to do a bit of an unboxing, and then we're going to basically quickly go through the menu system on this mod, and then um, basically uh, just talk about it a little bit and show how it works. So the mod up for review today is this one right here. This is the uh, Pioneer for You IPv4S. Uh, this is the upgrade to the IPv4, which did have a lot of issues with the charging board and the screen. Uh, they fixed that issue and released the IPv4S. Now this is a 120 watt uh, box mod, but is also temp control as well. Uh, this will do, uh, basically, uh, it says right on the package, it says IPv4S 120 watt, 100 joules, uh, can support titanium wire and nickel wire. So, uh, you can use titanium wire and nickel on this as well. So here is the packaging. It says IPv4, pioneer for you.com right on the front. Uh, it says box mod right here, the little sticker that tells you what I just read about the titanium wire. Uh, this is the black one that I ordered. I bought this from 88 eVape for like $70, uh, which is a pretty decent price. Uh, but it does come in other colors as well. It comes in uh, black, well it comes in black, silver, blue, red, and gold. Uh, I got the black one just because I figured that would work for me. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it does say on the back, caution this is not a toy. And uh, it gives you a little bit of a warning. Basically stating, uh, Please use these products responsibly. This mod is intended for use only by persons over the age of 18 and should not be used by those unfamiliar with rebuilding atomizers. So keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and open this box just like so. There's the cover. Set that aside. Now inside this box, you're going to get a few things. Uh, you're going to get your... Uh, IPv4S user manual, which basically tells you how to use it, your warranty card, and you're basically going to get your mod. Now there is the black IPv4S, so let's go ahead and get that out of here. Alright, set that aside real quick. Also, you're going to get a, uh, if I can get it out of the box, a small little certificate of authentication or uh, or an inspection, certificate of inspection card as well. And there's also a, um, another little piece of paper here, uh, basically talking about battery safety. Uh, says, uh, do not use broken insula uh, insulating skin batteries uh, in any of the IPV products. Otherwise, they'll be, uh, they're not responsible for any damages caused by your own stupidity, basically. So, uh, that is cool, and they basically show you what not to use and what to use. So, that is good. It also does come with a micro USB cable as well. Uh, this is not for charging. Uh, this is for firmware upgrades on this mod, because uh, from what I've been hearing, this mod will be uh, upgradable to 150 watts from 120. So, let's set that box aside and take a look at the mod. Here is the mod right here itself. Basically what you see, you got your fire button, you got a screen, and you got your up and down buttons right here basically for selecting uh, stuff in the menu and for also uh, setting your wattage. Uh, you got your 510 right there on the top. Now the battery compartment on this mod, this is where uh, I'm not really happy with it. Uh, it's basically a taco shell design you just pull that off, and this is that grip. It's just it, to me, it feels really cheap when it's not on there, but when it's actually on the mod, it actually feels pretty decent. Uh, so we'll set that aside. As you can see, I have a set of batteries in there. They're, they are dated. Uh, they do fit in a series configuration, so uh, one positive up, one positive down, uh, and it does have a nice little cloth pull tab, as you can see right there. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, you got these little ball bearings that are there that hold the cover on. Uh, they fit into these little grooves inside that. So uh, let's take a look at this, get this put back together. 
just like so. It clips right on. I mean, it's a really heavy mod, uh, to be honest. Size-wise, comparison-wise, here is my... Uh, this is my Sigeli 150 that I use every day. Uh, here is the uh, IPv4S. So size-wise, not really much of a difference. It's a little bit thinner than the uh, Sigeli. Uh, so it's not going to be much bigger. Uh, now, front to back this way, though, uh, it is a little bit smaller. So it is really comfortable to hold on to. Uh, it has that really nice grip design. Uh, I seem to like it so far. Uh, so we're going to uh, go ahead and toss an RDA on here real quick. We have an El Cabron just sitting handy. So, so we will toss that on there. Uh, what do I got in here for a build? We have a... I believe we have a... Uh, a 0.2 ohm dual coil with Nichrome 80. 24 gauge Nichrome 80 in here. And uh, we got some organic cotton. And we're going to drop some juice on here real quick, too. Before I forget, and then go to demonstrate it for you guys and get a major dry hit. Because these wicks are looking a little bit shy. So we will uh, toss that on there. Toss the top cap on. And we're good to go. That's what it looks like with a re uh, an RDA on there. So basically, you have your screen. It is five clicks to turn on. One, two, three, four, five. You'll get the IPv logo and stuff. whoop de doo it says IPv4S, and then basically your screen goes black. That is your setup right there. Now, to get into your menu in this mod is really, really annoying. The menu system in this mod is not really the greatest setup, in my opinion. Uh, it could be a lot better. Basically, you got to wait for the mod to go into standby mode. So it'll get there. We'll wait for it. Basically, we're waiting. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. So once this thing goes into standby mode, basically you click that button five times again. Uh, actually, I could probably get away with doing it now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then you got says system off. You press it again. It'll say power mode. And then you can use your plus and minus to change that from power mode. Uh, we'll say mode power or mode jewel. Uh, power mode is just regular wattage mode. Uh, mode Jewel is for uh, temp control. Uh, you can exit the menu without uh, changing anything. Uh, this also has a memory bank. Uh, it has memory 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You can actually set your wattages on this device and then basically just click the fire button and it will save them in that memory bank. That way if you have a couple different builds that you want to use, Instead of sitting there always adjusting your build, you can just click a couple buttons and, and be set to where you want. Just go to the right memory bank. So that, it's, I don't know. The menu system on this, it's still taking me a bit to get, to, uh, to get used to. Uh, now that I've gotten used to it a little bit, it's not bad. But at first, it was a real headache for me. Because I'm used to dealing with stuff like the Sigeli or you know the iStick 100 watt or even the uh, SPDA5 which has a, a crap menu as well, but it's at least easier to use. But anyways, let's give this a quick uh, little bit of a toot here, and we'll uh, give it a vape and see how it performs. We're running, like I said, a uh, 0.21 ohm dual coil, 3.66 volts. We're at 65 watts. Uh, this is my Nichrome 80 build that I vape, and I'm vaping on some of my strawberry cake from Mitten Vapor that I did a review on a while back. So let's give this a try. I mean, this thing works great. Uh, I have put this up head-to-head. -head. Uh, same wattage, same RDA, same build, uh, same juice uh, between the Sigeli 150 and basically put them up head-to-head. -head. Uh, I did it with the uh, RDA that's on here right now, the bale. Uh, I did put them up head-to-head, -head and to be honest, it felt like the IPv4S uh, did hit a lot harder uh, now keep in mind, I did have, uh, two different type, two different brands of batteries, but yes, they were fully charged. Uh, one mod has the, um, uh, Samsung 25Rs in it, which is 
the Segeli, and I had, for right now I have just the uh, uh, E-Fest 35 amp purples in my IPv4S. Uh, I also will be testing it out with a set of Imran 38 amp batteries that I just got. Uh, so we're going to be chest, uh, testing it with those as well. Uh, I mean, it's a great mod. Uh, real comfortable to hold on to. Uh, menu system is bogus, in my opinion. So I'm going to give them a thumbs down on their menu system. I don't really care for it. Uh, it was really confusing. And also the, the instruction manual. The way it's worded in the uh, user manual. Uh, let's see if I can get the user manual here for you guys. I mean, this is their user manual right here. Uh, it just unfolds basically tells you all about the screen and, and so forth. Uh, it's it's just not really set up really well, that menu. Uh, they could have taken a little bit more time with that, in my opinion, but I'm not really going to hold that against them, because once you do get through it and have figured it out, it's not that hard to use. Uh, it just takes a minute. It takes a little bit of patience to figure it out. So, uh, yeah, let's give it one more vape, and I will uh, give this mod a rating. Now, everybody knows I'm a huge fan of my Segeli 150. That is my go-to mod. Uh, so, straight up, this is a very close second, to be honest. Uh, I like this IPv4S, but it's still nothing compared to my Segeli 150. Uh, but it is a very nice mod. Uh, it is little. There is little things about it that aren't built right that are seem really cheap, like the battery door, uh, the plastic on that. But the rest of the mod seems put together really, really well. The screen's really nice. Uh, it does have battery venting on the bottom as well for your batteries. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the look at the IPv4S that I bought from uh, 88 Evape. I paid seventy dollars for this mod. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section with any questions or concerns. And I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out leadbetter17p.net for downloads, game reviews, tech reviews, and uh, vape reviews as well. There is a donation button on that front page. That donation button is basically there to help fund vape giveaways. Uh, all vape giveaways are put towards... Uh, well, all donations are put towards the vape giveaways, and uh, the vape giveaways are done here, not only here on the YouTube channel, but also on my Vapors TV shows, uh, on my personal channel, and also on the new network that I'm uh, doing a couple shows on as well. So if you want to check those out, just go over to Vapors TV, and um, you'll pretty much find me. I pretty much stream uh, Tuesday nights, Wednesday nights, Friday nights, and Saturday nights, midnight Eastern time till 2 in the morning. Uh, you can come over and check that out. Uh, please make sure that you are of age to be on Vapors TV as well. Uh, so check it out. Uh, you may be lucky and uh, get entered into a giveaway over there and win something. So uh, that is awesome. So pretty much other than that, don't forget to share and subscribe. And until next time, this is Leadbetter17P. Keep on vaping.